Hey you guys, this is Mach Noor, and I was asked to share my thoughts and opinions about teen werewolves, teen wolves, fake otherkin, and fluffs in the otherkin community, and I'm going to try to do my best in this video. For starters, I don't really consider teen werewolves and teen wolves to legitimately be a part of the otherkin community, and the reason I genuinely feel this way is because I feel for them it's a superficial aesthetic, and that it doesn't hold the same spiritual, symbolical, or psychological significance that it does for otherkin in the otherkin community. As for fake otherkin, I've experienced for some years ago people who pretended to be otherkin or claimed to be otherkin merely because they were dissatisfied with their own lives and with who they are and their own situations. And I met these people on threads and sites and stuff like that. And these people were genuinely unhappy with themselves. Unhappy with who they were and what their lives were all about. And they thought that by being something more than human, that it would somehow fulfill them. That it would make something meaningful for them. And that it would add some type of spark to their lives. And I think that that's a very tragic way of thinking. To be so unhappy with yourself to try to be something that you aren't, to have this false identity in the sense that it will fulfill you, that it will add meaning or happiness to you. And I guess my only thoughts and opinion about those type of people or those type of fake otherkin is that you don't need to be otherkin to be happy and that you shouldn't be unhappy with who you are because all of you are beautiful people. All of you have the potential to change your lives. Whether it's a small step at a time, like going somewhere or doing something new, or just simply taking some time out to appreciate yourself, to appreciate characteristics of yourself, appreciate your personality. There's always that aspect about oneself that one doesn't like, but out there there's somebody else that are wishing that they had that. And I guess you just have to really flip your own viewpoint and perspective of yourself to fully appreciate that. Also, there are some people that pretend to be otherkin or claim to be otherkin merely to troll other people. And that just can't be helped. There's going to be trolls out there. There's trolls in every community. It happens. There's no avoiding that, I guess. Um, as for fluffs in the otherkin community... For some years, I've knew people in the other King community that were really against fluffs. And, like, for me, I've always considered fluffs to just be uneducated other King. I really didn't consider them to be, you know, idiots or delusional people. I just considered them to be very stubborn, uneducated other King. And that was about it. And I've had some friends that were really critical of fluffs in the other King community. And... While no one does like a fluff in the other community, no one likes an uneducated, stubborn person that's very rude. The thing is, my friends were so critical and so anti-fluff that they that they began to see everyone in the other community as fluff or a fake other kin if they didn't share the same standard or viewpoint as them. And for me, that was very disheartening, I guess, because... These are people I really bonded and connected with, and at, at the drop of a dime, I could be considered a fluff by these same people. And that's exactly what happened in one situation. I had a friend, and they considered me a fluff, even though I'm pretty much one of the most reasonable people out there, and I'm open to hearing a perspective, but I was considered a fluff and just instant, instantly blocked. So for me, when it comes to fluffs, I try not to really think too much about the word itself because, for me, it does hold some, some legitimacy. There are ignorant, uneducated otherkin in the otherkin community. But at the same time, I feel that fluffs nowadays are, are just merely a term thrown around by some otherkin to feel better about themselves or to basically invalidate other people who think differently in the otherkin community. And I guess this is part of the video where I get into deeper, deeper thought and try to go into some thoughtful phrase or something. And I guess at the end of the day, everybody has their own lane and I try not to cross over into that. And I think instead of just simply 
arguing about things and arguing about semantics and what's the most important meaning in all of this stuff or what's the true meaning or or things like that like ideology and ideals that type of stuff separates people and especially in the other king community we're already a small community and we already try to be so close knit we don't really need that type of that type of drama in it and there's more to the world there's more to everything and instead of being unhappy with other people and trying to bring down other people, just try to focus on yourself. It's a beautiful world out there. Go out there. I know Pokemon Go is out now, and I'm just saying, you can catch yourself a Pokemon, catch one for me too, or, you know, go to the local park or just do something. Just, just, just do something and be happy. Don't worry about what's going on online. Don't worry about the trolls. Don't worry about all the negative stuff that's happening in the other king community. Don't worry about, you know, the period of stagnation in the other king community that's going on. Just simply focus on yourself. And that's that's the best I can think of for any of my subscribers, for any of my viewers. I just want you guys to be happy. That's all that matters to me. Um, this is Makanor. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye.